going to go through a quick photo report and I'm going to show you the importance uh, of why you should not do a brittleness test in some scenarios. Okay, so that's what we're looking at right here in this video. We're going to fly through these photos and I'm going to show you why or why not or when or when not to do a brittleness test. Okay, so obviously he has a shingle gauge. That's not really a great um, use of it. I mean, Maybe he had trouble pulling up this shingle. That's fine. The shingle gauges really aren't that big of a deal nowadays. Here we go. Here's the layer shot and the drip edge shot. He didn't really get a good angle on this. He really should be, ideally, the camera should be right above this gutter so he can look underneath this. But that's what we have when we're reviewing this file. Here's the thing that he's doing. He's on the ladder right now, okay? and he's doing the brittleness test right now before he's inspected the roof. That is a big no-no unless you can see lots and lots of damage on that slope right where you're at, okay? But if you don't see damage, you do not need to be doing a brittleness test on, on the ladder, that's for dang sure. Um, and if you walk around this entire slope and all over the front slope and there's not a single wind or hail damage up there or whatever loss you're looking for. Typically it's going to be uh, cause of loss is going to be wind or hail in these storms and you see no damage you do not do a brittleness test and let me show you some additional photos here. So he does a brittleness test right off the gate, right out the gate on the ladder without inspecting the roof first. Pitch, Which, by the way it'd be best if he had a clipboard underneath that to make it a little more accurate. Okay so now we've got the front slope okay no damage. Right slope, no damage. Left slope, no damage. I'm not seeing any damage at all. So here's the bad part. If that brittleness test that he did from the ladder failed and it caused a crease right across that shingle and it broke that shingle, somebody, his company likely, uh, the firm that he's working for, or maybe the carrier, if he's working directly for the carrier, is going to be responsible to literally buy that entire slope or maybe the entire roof because you damaged a roof that was not damaged by a covered peril. So do not, I repeat, do not do a brittleness test unless you confirm there's damage on that slope, okay? So very, very important because somebody's going to be writing that check to buy that slope or to buy the entire roof many thousands of dollars just because you did a brittleness test on a slope that didn't have any damage. 